Welcome to the Solar API mini series. In this episode, we will give a quick overview about the Solar API's vector endpoint called Building Insights, which is an out of the box solar data toolkit you can integrate into your installation design software. Building Insights provides automated calculations in regards to and addresses solar potential, solar layout, panel position and orientation, annual amount of sunshine, carbon offset factors, and roof data. And for US locations, there's also out-of-the-box estimates for the solar installation's return on investment using the location's estimated energy costs and incentives. In order to help folks quantify if installing solar is right for them, and at what year financial savings really begin to occur. Let me show you how it works. We first start by passing an address as a lat-long location for a building. Note this endpoint in particular requires the lat long to correspond to a building, otherwise we don't return data. It also needs us to choose a minimum quality level. Note that there's three types of imagery quality at the time of the making of this video and are currently called high, medium, and low. This is imagery from airplanes stitched together to get a top-down view and may also be AI-enhanced if it was taken in higher altitudes in order to convert it into lower flying images. Check out our episode on how solar data works if you are curious to know more. With both the location and imagery type, you currently get back information from these four buckets. Location, rooftop data, solar panel details, solar financials. Location contains information like the postal code or the state and country that the address is at, as well as the longitude and latitude bounding box of the nearest known building. Rooftop data offers information about the roof's area, possible area for solar, and more granular details about the roof. Solar panel details tells you things like how many different types of solar designs can emerge, or how many solar panels can be installed. And what is the possible carbon offset by going solar based on current utility usage? And finally, if you work with homes in the US, you can leverage the out of the box financial models that include assumptions on utility rates, cost of installation, estimates on loans and purchases, return on investment data, as well as possible incentives. To assess financial estimates in other countries, you can create your own custom financial models, which I will touch upon in a bit. Now, let's dive into a quick demo using our example web app. When visiting the app, you can type in an address, this turns it into a lat long, makes a building insights request, and begins to display building information from the response. You can see on the left, we created a widget from the information from this endpoint that displays the estimated annual sunshine the total roof area of that location, the maximum amount of panels to cover one's electricity consumption, as well as the total number of panels that can possibly fit on that roof surface. It also includes carbon savings as well as total energy production possible. And as mentioned before, the Building Insights endpoint also includes financial data for buildings in the US, which helps users weigh their current utility usage versus their investment in solar. For this building specifically, we can see that the cost of not going solar over a 20 year period is $61,000 versus the cost of solar, which is 25,000. And that around 2029, in five to six years, the cost of not having solar begins to exceed that of going solar. Now for folks outside the US, because there are different government incentive programs in each country, including utility rates, you can create your own calculations as we have done so in this web app. We provided open text fields in this example so that one can manually enter financial assumptions. If anyone wishes to leverage the same code we used to make these fields, you can find it in the demo link included in this video's description along with other helpful resources below. And there you have it, a quick walkthrough of Google's Building Insights endpoint in the Solar API. We look forward to seeing what beautiful things you will build for the world. Cheers.